our peeps and welcome to Master Waterman for another edition, part three, shooting snook back at Queen Mackerel. So I'm going to shot on the KZN North Coast as well. Early summer, late winter. And you can see me diving down on the mark to look for a reef up spot. See a bit of a thermocline climb from the northeast playing with the north south current. And there I can spy a red bait pod, rock bait pod to put the reef hook in. Busy attaching the reef hook. And swimming up. Well, I've made Anthony had just spotted some snook on the inside, and I've just seen some snook come past. Just checking my marks to make sure I'm on my clinical. And here come the first shot of snook past. Good first quick shot. Not just with a longer 130 gun, I'll use two hands at first. Get the gun going in the right direction first. On the duck dive. Let this fish swim onto the gun. Look on. I'm giving a shout out to Anthony to let him know that I've got some snook. Leaped up on the right spot. Where are you, Anthony? Up, I like to tie a knot in my float line a bit further up. You can see I'm calling in. Quite hard to spot in the late afternoon sunshine. I like to tie a knot in my uh, float line. Um, to loop it around so that my flasher sits about two three meters behind my float on the reef up so as to give it a lot of bobbing action if you put it in front of the float the flasher tends to go underwater and not, not have as much action of the bobbing up and down with the chop by reefing up and and sitting on a mark you tend to find the snook a lot quicker as they tend to hold to that mark. A quick tail grab. A lovely first specimen. You can see I lined the fish. The spear went all the way through. See that? That's why I was playing quite softly. The um, dynamo is quite thin, it's 1.5 mils. Sometimes tear through the fish. What I'm doing there is I'm holding the line with my left hand on the other side, putting the spear up, and getting ready to push it back through, pull it back through. I don't want to tear the fish any further. Just see my float there drifting slowly away from it in the north-south current. I'm twisting the barb to get it out. Spears out, holding the spear by the sharp end and using the barb to kill the fish before getting to the float. Almost always use my barb to kill fish. Check. Don't like using a knife, especially on smaller mackerel species and smaller species. The knife can go straight through into your hand, cut your tendons and give a lot of damage to your hand. Whereas a barb will not do this. As you can see the 
thermocline is picking up. A lot of green water and a gorilla snot in the water. You can just see my flasher there setting off the float. I like to sit behind it in the current. You can see Anthony just behind me but on the same line. So watch what happens here. Sneaky snot came through, had a look. Dive after the fish, getting ready, lining up. Oh, why did it swook? <laughs> you can see giving Anthony a little lecture to sit on the outside or by high further behind or further in front. Next shot comes through, lovely quick shot. Notice both hands on the gun, then slide forward, quick shots. And he's now sitting in the right spot on the outside. The kid just got himself a nice yellow belly. can be fast and furious on the north coast when the water's quite warm and the northeast comes through and the fish come on the feed. It's essential to get a reef hook in and, and, and stay on the mark. Make pretty short work of this fish. Just not giving myself enough space on the spear to grab the fish. <laughs> it's a mistake I sometimes make and a lot of people else uh, also make this mistake. There we can just come here Mr. Snook. Got him. Another six kilo fish. Beauty. Anthony still hasn't found his reef up spot. Just checking where he is. Swimming back to my float with the fish. After I strung the fish, another shell came through. And look what happens when you're diving on top of each other. Who's that? Ant Man! <laughs> Busy explaining to me that you can't um, find a spot to reef up. There's a certain type of black sponge that you can reef in. Just got to be careful. That you don't pull too much on the float. I explained to him just to hang around because I'm reefed up and it's going to lose me in the strong current. You need to stick together in this sort of water. There's a lot of big Zambies around at this spot in the north coast. Big bull sharks. And Anthony manages to get in on a fish. I'm just explaining to him rather use the line than the reel. Put some brakes on the fish. I grabbed this reef hook for him and took him down because I know the mark pretty well. And I dove down on the outside of me. And I managed to get his reef hook into one of the black sponges. And a lot of rock bait on the mark, so very difficult to reef up. Sometimes I use two drop weights and use that to reef up instead of the reef hook because there's no growth on the reef to put the reef hook through. Busy swimming back to my flasher. Sitting wait for a snook. And yeah, they come again. 
Oh, what happened? I normally make a habit of checking my line around my uh, belt wheel. I just hadn't because I was busy turning to ant, helping with this fish. And as you can see, I couldn't extend the gun and take a shot because the line was caught up around the gun and the belt wheel. Something you've got to constantly check. Also for safety reasons, obviously, if you shoot a bigger fish, you can get dragged under. You can see how essential it is having that, that brief up. You should be able to quickly swim back to the mark every time you lose it. Also, by sitting behind your float, you're watching your fish at the same time instead of them sitting behind you. So watch out for those pesky johnnies. shot comes through and a perfect shot checking in slow-mo two hands on the gun push gun forward shoot spawned that one beautifully Down through the bands again. Pull the fish up slowly. I don't know if the spear's gone all the way through or not. See my float up here on the drift. And way to tell if you spawned a fish. You can see the normal colouring up front and then the black from where the spear went through all the way back down the body. So the spear is actually broken in spine. Normal slide they end up into the gills. Oh, it was a hectic session. Um, I reefed up Anthony nicely. Little guy managed to get five snook. I got four. Well done, Anthony Deirdre. And as always, peeps, dive safe and straight spears from the bed. <laughs>